Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you've been here before, I thank you so much for being here. Let's get into this reading. What's going on for Leo spirit? What does Leo need to know right now? We have sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany, a sudden, a sudden realization has brought new clarity. Something is dawning on you. This is the Ace of Swords, which is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. I mean, you can have those in your chart, heavily aspected, or you could be dealing with, Lord, you could be dealing with an air sign. This is what happens when you mix all these decks together. It's so thick. All right, so... um. This could be an air sign you're dealing with or you have air in your chart. There's something that's like an epiphany going on for you. A light bulb. Something that maybe you found out. Something you went looking for. Something that just kind of suddenly hit you. Okay, what is this about? Uh, we have balance, balance and act in reverse. This is Capricorn energy. Juggling and decision balance. You are juggling multiple things at once. <clears throat> this is when somebody is not doing a very good job at it. Okay, so this could be a Capricorn. This could be you. Um, this could be a lack of balance in your work, home life. Um, the That's the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles does talk about um, somebody having trouble maintaining multiple things in their life at the same time. I mean, this can talk about somebody juggling lovers. So that could be you. That could be someone you're connected to. Maybe this is what you found out. There was someone else in their energy and this is why they didn't have time for you. But it could also just be all you. And some of you could be realizing that you don't have a balance between work and home life. Or um, maybe you are dealing with someone who has a busy schedule and it just feels like they're never going to make time for you. Um, that also represents negotiation. So this could be a negotiation that's not going well. Um, yeah, it could mean a lot of things. But it usually talks about somebody struggling to maintain to multitask. Somebody struggling with multitasking. We'll have to see what that is. One more. One more card for Leo. We have Kettle. Simmering and Divine Timing. So something is left to Divine Timing. Something is happening in Divine Timing. It just feels like this could be like a waiting game. Bottom of the deck, we have Intuition. The universe is guiding you. Follow your Intuition. We have black light, stood up, no show. Yeah, this could be somebody standing you up because they're multi they're dealing with multiple people. And then we have attic ghoul, avoiding and running. Uh oh, physical gift. I keep telling y'all about this gift. Gift exchange, goodie bag. Okay, here we go, please. It says, please, here we go again. Once another chance. So. I'm hearing round and round I go. There's an old song that used to say that. Round and round I go. I think it was like Guy, Aaron Hall, Teddy Riley and them. I believe that's who used to sing that song. Hmm, I might have to look the lyrics up because I don't know why that song just started playing in my head. Well, I guess because it says another chance. They want another chance. But I don't know the lyrics to that song. Some of you are dealing with somebody who avoids you. They they stand you up. And your intuition could be really speaking to you to give you whatever this epiphany is. Okay. Hmm. So somebody's going to want another chance. Let's see what's going on here because I am so confused. What are you suddenly realizing or what have you suddenly realized? If you haven't realized that you will in divine timing. We have the chariot. Cancer energy. Okay. You could be dealing with somebody at a distance. What's going on with the chariot? We have the nine of wands in reverse. Some of you are giving up on someone. Sagittarius energy. You're giving up on someone who may have treated you like a conquest. Or this person might be a busybody. They're always on the go. This person could, with the nine of wands coming out with the chariot, this person could be like a retired uh, military person or police person or, you know, law enforcement, something like that. Because this does represent the authorities, the police with the nine of wands. This could be somebody who used to be in the military, but now... They are, um, they have a civilian job as like a police officer or something like that. 
And let me tell y'all, just quickly, my, my twin flame is a um, retired um, military person and police detective. And um, definitely a busybody. <laughs> definitely a busybody so that's probably why i picked up that energy when i looked at those cards even though that's literally what this represents it's not just i'm not making it about me that's what the cards actually represent this is a, the wounded warrior but this talks about giving up so some of you um you could be dealing with the kind of person yeah mm -hmm. could be an air sign he's a gemini so i wonder if y'all are dealing with a gemini some of you or an air sign because i'm getting here a little bit of mind games i'm getting mind games i'm getting somebody that's and they talk a good game with this standing you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, and then they are avoiding. I know my my person, my my ex person. I'm not dealing with him anymore. But he um he was definitely very guarded. He he had a big fear of like getting hurt. And I'm like, boy, if you don't grow up, what's going on with this chariot? So it's like this is hitting you. Some of you, this this sudden realization is showing up as the chariot because the chariot is the fastest card in the deck. So this is like right now something is hitting you like a ton of bricks. Like you see how this person is breaking these chains. Some of you are like moving forward. You're leaving this behind. You're ready to let it go. But I also feel like some of you could be dealing with someone who has those traits that I just said. What's the chariot? The chariot is the two of pentacles. You cannot make it up. This is the two of pentacles here. So somebody is juggling. Somebody is seeing multiple people or putting work before you or doing something here that makes you feel like they put you on the back burner. And this is why you are giving up. Some of you feel really worn out. You feel like this person used you. You feel like they came and they went. Because I look at this as I came, I saw, I conquered. What was the name of that Ja Rule album back in the day? Vinny, Vetti, Vici, something like that. That, that um, It means I came, I saw, I conquered. It's something like that. I, know, I might be saying it wrong. Yeah, the King of Wands. This is you. I mean, you could be dealing with another Leo, or you could just be dealing with somebody very attractive. Very good in bed. I ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> We're going to shut up and just keep it moving. Okay, yeah, so Leo, and some of you are like your, your confidence level, because this is a very confident, independent kind of person. This person is a natural born leader. This is you, Leo. You're a natural born leader. So some of you are like, you ain't going to be juggling me. What you're not going to do is put me on the back burner so you can go talk to somebody else. That's what you're not going to do. So some of you are realizing who the F you are. That that King of Wands is you. Standing your ground, standing in your power. Um yeah i also want to talk about your money because i do feel like for some of you if money has been tight i do have good news for you because the two of pentacles can talk about just kind of staying afloat you know what i mean like just keeping things keeping your head above water why am i hearing the song to to good times keeping your head above water <laughs> yeah but this king of wands does talk about unexpected income so there could be some money coming to some of you and it could be coming rather quickly remember we kept getting that envelope the other day some of y'all might literally be getting like a check in the mail or something like that could be due to a car accident or something i don't know that's interesting yeah but um What's the chariot with the two of pencil? Because I feel like this person might be the kind of person for some of you, if you're dealing with this, somebody who just kind of comes in and out of people's lives. And maybe they, they spend the block. This could be a person who does spend the block. This could be a two-year relationship. Seven of Wands. This is you. You keep coming out as blocking somebody. So this is the sudden realization. Some of you could have blocked this person. You could have deleted their contact out of your phone. What is this? What is this? I'm going to pull some of my own um, tarot cards because I want to make this kind of long today just because I'm only doing Cancer, Leo, and Taurus because y'all are my main supporters. So y'all going to get the readings this week. I'm not really doing any other signs this week. Okay, so you are blocking somebody. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. You you are really tired of somebody, Leo. You're tired. It could be a Sagittarius. You are tired. Some of you are tired of feeling like you're in a one-sided relationship. This is being taken for granted. Carrying all this dead weight by yourself. You're tired. And you're like, I look too good. I'm here and run me mine. Because I look too good to be something, something. And, you know, I'm conceited. I got a reason. Now, I'm not saying you're conceited. But the king of wands, I mean, he will be conceited this way. He's not conceited. He's just very confident. I mean, again, that's Leo energy. What's the nine of wands? Because this is you, like, wanting to give up. Throwing your hands up. 
You had a papa born. Some of y'all tired of fighting for this. You tired of them putting you in competition with other people. You tired of their family, their friends, other things getting in the way. External forces coming between you two arguing. This is a clash of ego. Some of you are literally standing your ground. This shows me that's Leo energy as well. You're showing up in your own energy as somebody who is not playing. You are not playing, especially if it's a Sagittarius. I feel like a strong Sagittarius person that you just like... Man, I'm so down with you. What's the King of Wands? The Knight of Cups. Because I feel like, um, you know, Leo, I talk about this all the time with us fixed signs because it's so true. People talk crap about us because, oh, we're stubborn. Oh, we're, you know, they talk crap about us. They talk about how we're narcissistic and oh, whatever, right? People don't realize the reason why the fixed signs come across as narcissistic. If you look it up, it will tell you that Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus are the most narcissistic people. Bullshit. And I say that because most of the narcissists I know are not any of those signs. I understand fixed signs because I am a fixed sign. I know that we operate like this because we understand who we are and because we've been doing this long enough. You you have made me carry all the weight. You have put me in a position where I have bent over backwards for you and you have not done it for me. I'm tired of arguing about it because I gave you chances. I keep telling you I don't like it. I don't like it. Can you stop doing it, right? You won't stop doing it. So then I say, well, to hell with it. And I throw my hands up. So then when you throw your hands up, they want to act like you were just acting like this all along. Oh, you're arrogant. You're cocky. This stupid lady, and I'm going to call her a stupid lady because that's what the hell she was. I didn't approve her comment because it was racist and stupid. And she's such an imbecile. But she left me a stupid comment. She's not a Leo, but she was on a Leo reading because she was dealing with the Leo. And constantly told me how she didn't want to talk to the Leo. But she was always on the Leo reading trying to see what was going on. Like spying on Leo's reading. What you spying for? If you don't want Leo, get off Leo's reading, right? And so she left me a comment and unfortunately she was a tourist. So I'm like, girl, you was misrepresenting my sign because we don't act stupid like this. <laughs> but she was like, um, I was taking up for Leo and making excuses and how arrogant and narcissistic her Leo was. Well, listen, lady, maybe you were dealing with a narcissistic Leo. I don't have anything to do with that. I do not know you or him. All I know is I'm reading my cards, minding my business, and she left me a very nasty, racist comment. I said, oh, I wish she could say it to my face because she would never say it again. I'm on YouTube. Got to protect my interest and my investment in my channel. So I had to just delete her comment and block her. But um, so I want her to know she is leaving comments. Honey, nobody can see them. <laughs> You're reading your own comments. I can't see them. But um, yeah, so... I feel like sometimes that's what happens with us, though. People become the victims. Because the way she acted towards me, I can understand why that Leo didn't call her his. I understand why he didn't talk to her. If she's nasty like that, I wouldn't have talked to her either. So I feel like that's the energy that you're in. So when I see this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups tiptoes through the tulips. Very passive, very sweet, very idealistic, right? Very unproblematic, does not like confrontation, likes to keep everything um, on the up and up. I feel like the reason why you're in this five of wands, um, this king of wands, the seven of wands is because you did this long enough. So your realization is that when you're open hearted with this person, you don't get the same thing in return. And some of you are like, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. You could have been dealing with a Pisces. You, you were just dealing with somebody who I feel um, took your kindness for weakness because that's how I see the knight of cups, the page of cups, like somebody and, and the queen of cups as well. Somebody taking your kindness for weakness and not understanding that you could turn this on, that you could block them, that you could ignore them. Whatever. So let me see what's going on with this balancing act in reverse. The page of wands. Mm. So the page of wands is immature. You could be dealing with somebody who's like a man child. I don't know what you would call a woman. I guess a woman child. I don't know if it's a woman. Somebody very immature. The page of wands, although it can be like flirtatious. Um, he can be a heartbreaker. Even in the upright, he represents a fling, fun, excitement, somebody infatuated. So what is this? I mean, that could be you. That is fire sign energy. So maybe you were infatuated with this person at a point. Or they're just immature when it comes to their passions. Yeah, the world, they're too worldly. But I do feel like this person has sealed their fate with you. The world is like closing out a cycle. It's closure. It's completion. You see the circle there. And I'm here, made a circle be unbroken. Isn't that a gospel song? Something, something, by and by. It just feels to me like 
you have this, you have an um, infinity symbol here, and then you have an onk. And so the onk represents the principle of the male and the female working together, right? The unison of male and female it represents uh, fertility. It represents a lot. But the infinity symbol, I feel like this is what goes around, comes around. Some of you are like, this is a full circle moment for you. What is the page of lines? This is good news as well. So for some of you, you could be getting good news online this week. Today, we have the four swords in reverse. Libra energy, and then we have the Six of Swords and the Upright Aquarius energy. So we have Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and um, Capricorn here, as well as Aries and Sagittarius. So this shows me you closing out a cycle with somebody who's been juggling you and moving forward. This is your spirit guys as well. Some of you, you were dealing with somebody who was more worldly than you. They're caught up in like the the... The things that don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? And with this intuition coming out, I feel like you are highly intuitive. You can have a lot of water in your chart. You could also be on the Cancer Leo cusp. You don't have to be. But it just feels like you know what's going on. You're completely aware of what's going on around you. You're not a fool. And this person feels like when they want to come out of hiding, they do. When they want to disappear and entertain other people, they do. What's going on here? I'm going to put these back because I don't know which direction they came out in. We had the two of wands, though, to show up. And that does talk. Yeah, the high priestess is in reverse. So their intuition is blocked. So here you are. You two are not equally yoked. There's something different about you spiritually than them. This could also be a feminine energy. It does talk about betrayal by a feminine. But it talks about hidden motives and agenda. So something you just don't trust this person anymore. It could be a cancer or Pisces. Yeah, the magician. You definitely don't trust them anymore because they're a player. The two of cups and the three of swords. So this person that you love broke your heart. Cancer, Libra energy. I'm going to put those back. But yeah, so this looks like the high priestess coming out with the magician is not good. Because that means that somebody here knows how to work their magic but for um, the wrong motives. Their motives are not good. A Gemini, Virgo, or Cancer, possibly a Pisces, or any of these other signs. Some of you are ready to start meeting new people. You could, you could be getting, I can't talk. You could be getting a message online from somebody like flirting with you. Like say you post a picture or something like that. They leave a comment under your picture letting you know that they're interested in you. Or they email, not email you, Jesus Christ. I sound like somebody grandmama. They DM you or, you know send you an instant message. I don't know. I'm not on social media anymore. I don't even know what the terms are. How y'all like social media? Leave me a comment and let me know because I can't stand it, y'all. I mean, I know YouTube is social media as well, but this is about all I can do. I use TikTok only to post my videos. I look at a couple funny videos on there and I just keep it moving because I just can't. Somebody asked me the other day, why are you not on social media anymore? I was looking for you. I said, um, you ain't gonna find me. <laughs> I'm done with that. And I always had a huge following. I was always very, um, you know, I enjoyed my time, but I outgrew it. Y'all might be feeling like that. You might be tired of people hitting on you online because I know that gets annoying. And even on Instagram, like on Instagram, even the celebrity people be coming all in your, on your page, on your, you know what I'm saying? On your account. You're like, why are you here? What you doing? How you even find me? Oh, I don't remember Irv Gotti jumped in my... I said, Irv Gotti, if you don't... Irv, Irv, the nerve. No, I see how you do a Shanti. And you did your ex-wife. I guess ex-wife. Mm-mm. He's a Gemini, too. Y'all might be dealing with a Gemini. I'm going off on a tangent, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah, but this person's motives are weird. With the magician and the high priestess in reverse. What are their motives? Because I don't like it. This could be somebody trying to come out of hiding to try to make up with you. Uh uh, the Five of Swords. See mind games. Uh uh, Aquarius energy. What's the Five of Swords spirit? They could also be wanting to call the truth with you. That is feeling stupid, like feeling like they put their foot in their mouth, being petty, argumentative. Gotta get the last word. The Nine of Pentacles, and this is you. So some of you could be on the Leo Virgo cusp. This is your soft life era. Some of you are starting to move towards your soft life. Your spirit guides are like, it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Some of you could be really big online. You can have a big um, social media following. Or you could be doing something business-wise online. If so, you're going to get good news. 
I feel like you should go for it if that's something you're considering. Because this is overnight success and passive income. So some of you could be trying to like start your own YouTube channel. Doesn't have to be YouTube, just using social media or whatever. It doesn't even have to be social media. It could be something like an Etsy shop or an eBay store. Um, I haven't been down all these roads. Um, Amazon, like, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. You might be a person who does like drop shipping, even though I know that that, that business model has kind of faded away. Um, but there are different ways that you can make money on those apps. So some of you could be thinking about doing something like that. If you are, this is a really good sign that you should do it. Let's look at that. Let's look at something positive. Spirit, what would go on if they, what would happen if they would pursue this? The Queen of Swords. Well, some of you, you really do have a sharp mind. You're very decisive. You're critical thinkers. You're people who are able to really read the room. Leave her energy. What else? Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. This is good financial news. And then the Temperance is here. So this could be something that brings some balance to your life. Some of you could use it to like supplement your income. Now, the page of the Temperance does talk about like not taking risk. Um, but I feel like with this page of pentacles, you have good news here with the page of wands. You have good news. So for some of you, um, I feel like you would do well in this. This is good financial news. So some of you might need to start looking into that. Yeah, you might need to look into that for sure. It might be something you have to take a class on or something, but you're smart. You can do it. You absolutely are smart. You're critical thinkers. Um, your problem solvers, you're decisive. So it looks like you should you should do it. Look into it at least. Okay, so what's going on with this simmering and divine timing? The Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. This is what's come. See, there is somebody who is going to come into your life, y'all. I keep telling y'all. See, this is I'm by myself. I'm straight. I'm standing on my own two feet. I'm independent, self-sufficient. I'm all of that. This is my rich auntie vibes card. So this is like the kind of woman who would have like, no kids, right? She's just the aunt. She's the aunt that comes over and brings the lavish gifts to the nieces and nephews and things like that, right? Or uncle. It doesn't have to be an aunt, but I call it my rich auntie vibes card. What comes after the nine of pentacles is the ten of pentacles. This is abundance, prosperity, um, financial stability, being on a solid ground. And it's also a power couple dynamic with the Empress, y'all. So Spirit is saying that this is what Spirit is cooking up for you. Just wait a little while longer in divine time. This is what I'm bringing to you. Somebody who will treat you like the Empress. Now, the funny thing is this is my baby Empress. This is the next thing that comes after my baby Empress. That's just how I number them. There's no real science behind this. This is just my own interpretation of these cards. The Nine of Pentacles. To me, then it goes into the Page of Pentacles, and then it goes to the Queen of Pentacles, and then the Empress is the final stage of having everything that you need. So look at how this is flowing. It literally is going in order. So I feel like, I keep telling y'all, y'all have so much money waiting for you, but this is millionaire status. This could be a millionaire coming towards you. Understand this person looks like they own a business. This person looks like they're very caring. They will love you unconditionally. This is a person who will take their time. They're not going to rush, okay? Divine timing and simmering. So this is somebody who's going to want to slowly build with you. But this is forever. This is staying power. It's longevity. It's long-term success. So this is what you want to see. That spirit got cooking up in this kettle for you. Let's see more. I like it. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Oh, my God. Now the Queen of Pentacles comes out. All we need is the king, and I'm going to get um, the confirmation that I need. But this is already telling me everything I need to know, and I stand by that. So this is Capricorn energy, and I just told you it went from the nine, the, the page, to the queen, and the empress. You have all of my high-ranking, financially, anyway, high-ranking cards. This is divine feminine energy. So this is what you're doing. You're in receptive mode waiting for a spirit to bless you with this ten of pentacles, and it's coming. You're listening to your intuition. Some of you are tired of somebody playing with you. Oh, this fell in reverse. What is it? Oh, we got the four of wands in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Now, this could be somebody not being a team player. The four of wands in reverse can also talk about not getting along with somebody's family. We do have the empress. We do have the ten of pentacles. So, to put a spin on that, this could be somebody's mother or their family that you don't get along with. Because this is like you can't sit with us. This is elitism. This is essentially um, a sense of not belonging. There's like tension and animosity here. What is going on? I 
mean, this can represent a mother too. So for some of you, you don't get along with this person's family. You got the full Aquarius energy. They might listen to their family too much. And the Seven of Swords. Mm. Some of you also, this can represent a divorce, unhappy home, like a separation, calling off a celebration. So this could be like somebody you were engaged to or just dating or live with or married to or whatever. And some of you are like, mm-mm. It's like this person's time is up with you. It's like, I don't know if this is a song. I just heard I, I played the fool for the last time. Like you played the fool for the last time with this person because they're sneaky, they're selfish. So be an Aquarius, that is your sister sign. Both of these are Aquarius cards. Somebody could be embarrassed because they did something foolish as well. Somebody's losing you. And, it, and it's because Spirit is about to bless you with somebody so much better. Yeah, your spirit guides are here. They want you to be head over heart. The hermit. So there's a lot of quiet time. Queen of Wands, Nine of Swords. So you have the Queen of Wands now. You have the King of Wands over here. So you have a true pair. And that is fire sign energy. Some of you have turned your back on a Queen of Wands. Now, understand, yeah, the Four of Pentacles, it's like you're holding back from somebody. Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands. You're ready to give love to somebody who deserves it. Yeah, this is detaching. You're ready to move towards the future. So you're ready for, you're ready for the King of Cups. You were dealing with a Knight of Wands. Sagittarius, I'm telling you, I feel a strong Sagittarius here. There could be a Scorpio coming towards you, but there, it's like something about you being tired of somebody playing games with you. So the king of wands, I feel, is you. I'm not going to change that. Even if you're the woman in the situation, I still feel like this represents you. Because this is somebody who rules and is the authority over, um, emo I mean, not emotions, over their passions, right? Thinking about the long term, you know, very passionate about just being with one person, not needing multiple people. Queen of wands, what I'm discovering about the queen of wands is, although, yes, yeah, she represents sex appeal. She represents alpha female energy. She represents... um compassion creativity independence let me turn this tv down y'all sorry she represents independence and she represents um being like a go-getter right but the thing about it with coming out with the hermit i feel like this is your person and i feel like you're more mature than them and that's why you're showing up as the king and they're showing up as the queen because the king is a more evolved version of the wands right this is somebody who's like my newfound understanding of the queen of wands because i'm always learning new stuff about these cards so although she represents being attractive and sex appeal and all of these things that are really powerful she is also a concubine and with the chariot being the first card that came out with sudden realization either you're realizing this is how they treated you or you're realizing this is who they are and not long after that we get the knight of wands which kind of proves it for me even the eight of wands can talk about somebody like sweeping you off of your feet like a whirlwind romance but some of you are like tired of that you're like i want something solid so this person here i feel like it's the same person could be an aries a leo or a sagittarius but i feel like you're tired of this you're starting to see this person almost like a player. They feel like a player with the nine of swords. This is like somebody that keeps you up at night. Somebody that ghosts you. Somebody, I mean, we have that here. Stood up and no show. And the hermit card to me is ghosting. Depending on the cards it comes out with. Yeah, so it feels like this is a person who has a tendency to just pop up when they want something, disappear when they don't, and leaves you like this. This is like being up at night, worrying, stressing, crying, feeling traumatized, you know, feeling regretful that you even talk to them. Like, why do I keep letting them back in my life? Like, that's the kind of energy this person is coming through with. But let's move on. I want to use some of my own cards here. No, I didn't want these. I picked up the wrong cards, y'all. Give me a second. I just kind of want to see, like... Let's just see. How do you see this person right now? We have the two of pentacles. You got the two of pentacles here three times. This could be a Capricorn or two-year relationship. Could also be a workplace um, thing. So we have balance, playfulness, choices, adaptability, flexibility, fluctuating finances, profit and loss, juggling, multitasking, balancing act. <laughs> but it's in reverse. Yeah, so you see them as somebody who has a lot on their plate. Um, This is a maybe card. You feel like this person has options and they weigh them. 
You feel like this person maybe doesn't prioritize you. How are they seeing you? What energy are you giving off? Uh-oh. No, I don't want to take it. Let's see. This person knows that you have a big heart, though, because the heart chakra fell out. What is this? They're seeing you as the queen of swords in reverse. Ooh. Okay, so they're seeing you as somebody giving them the cold shoulder and not talking to them. They also feel like you have a sharp tongue. You're overly critical, unforgiving, <laughs> cynical. You have repressed memories, bitter and insecure. Now, I understand. I don't think you're bitter and insecure. They're just seeing you as somebody that's no nonsense. The queen of swords is someone who has been through a lot. She is the kind of person who does hold on to the things she's been through so she doesn't repeat that. You came out as the queen of swords in the upright. They're seeing you in reverse, though. So this, this in reverse kind of talks about... I'm going to just say this, and it may re it may resonate for some of you. It may not for others of you. The Queen of Swords in Reverse can be somebody who's scatterbrained, right? Can't get their thoughts together. So they may see you as a little bit erratic right now in the sense that you could be saying a lot of things. You could be really angry at them. You could be lashing out at them, and you're not really, like, mincing your words because the Queen of Swords is already very sharp tongue. But when you flip her in reverse, oh, boy. So she might say anything out of her mouth. So some of you could have really gotten into an argument with this person and just, like, ripped them to shreds. And I feel like there are certain parts of this person that feels like, you ain't really done with me. That's what I'm getting from that. It's like, you said all of that, but you ain't really done with me. Mm -mm. You're not really done with me. They do feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder and not talking to them. Okay, so what is the likely outcome here? We have the two of swords. Yeah, I feel like this is you um, blocking this person. You can have a Libra moon placement or your person could. And this card is a maybe card. So this could go either way. This talks about being torn. It's a difficult choice. But it's also blocking and ignoring and something being at a stalemate. You have mixed feelings. We have, yeah, the Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. A big no. Sensory overload, shiny object syndrome, um, clouded judgment, wishful thinking. This is also fear of missing out. Okay, so it's um, the illusion of inclusion as well. So some of you feel like you have told yourself for the last time that you belonged in this person's life. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the illusion of inclusion is all about you seeing yourself as more important to somebody than you actually might be. So this is how some of you are feeling like you had on rose colored glasses. Maybe a lot of the relationship was something that you kind of dreamt up in your head like, OK, and I'm not, I'm not saying that this person doesn't have feelings for you. I'm not even really going into that. I'm just talking about their behavior. So it's just kind of like, well, at this point, I will be. Like I said over here, I'd be a fool to go back to you because you keep showing me who you are and you're a damn trickster spirit. The, the high priest is in reverse. The magician, the seven of swords definitely is trickster spirit. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to get some advice for you from the chakra deck and see what, um, what spirit wants you to know. So let's see. What is the advice for Leo? I just heard third eye chakra because we see 33 on the timer. Oh, you get the heart chakra. That's what tried to come out. Okay, so this says peace. The heart chakra, the fourth chakra, which is cancer energy. The heart chakra is ruled by Venus and the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Okay, you can have those in your chart or you could be dealing with one. It's all about love. It's all about generosity compassion and forgiveness <laughs> um giving and receiving unconditional love i feel like that's what you did the heart shot could try to come out in my um other cards these cards i just had in my hand it fell on the table but i just didn't take it hmm so you you have love for this person or you did Okay, so let's see what's going on. It says, I will meditate and be peaceful and calm in my interactions with others and the world. Peacefulness comes in me giving up the, I'm sorry, peacefulness comes in me giving up the love of power for the power of love. I invite peace to be a part of my life and I will make my experience my own inner stillness daily. I read that wrong. And I will make time to experience my own inner stillness daily. I continually develop an intense sense of calm and I trust that everything will be right. I wonder if it should say all right. I don't know. Feeling good about myself will bring 
peace into my life. So operating in your heart chakra, you haven't let this person change your heart. You still have a big heart. I already saw that. Like I said here, where's the cards? I didn't mix everything up, y'all. I know the Queen of Cups was here. Yeah, Queen of Cups right here. You're holding out until you get your match. Somebody who has a big heart too. Could be a Scorpio coming towards you for sure. This is what you're waiting for. And you're not settling for less. And I don't blame you. That is your reading. All right, y'all. Do me a favor. Like the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you all most likely tomorrow. I think I'm pretty much going to post every day. Like I said, just for Cancer Leo and Taurus. Anybody else? I'm going to see y'all next week. And we're going to try again. If y'all don't watch, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, but that's it, Leo. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I hope it answers some questions for you. I hope it made sense. Even though I hate that y'all might be going through this, but I hope it made sense. All right, y'all. Peace.